Hello, you all. Welcome back to Let's Deal With It. Praise the Lord, for God is good and all the time. God is good. Amen. Yes, he is. In spite of, praise the Lord. <laughs> well, you all, mm, I don't know where to start, but uh, praise the Lord. I can't even stop saying it. You all, our suffering is not in vain. It's in order for us to reign. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, if you could just get a paradigm shift. If I can do it through Christ, anybody can do it. Do you all hear me? Do you all hear me? Lord Jesus, listen to me, you all. The Lord has really been helping me with um, understanding why he allows suffering in our lives. It can be multiple reasons. Amen. Well, what I want you all to get a hold of quickly, little thing, to get a hold of quickly is when the Bible says, get knowledge, get wisdom, but in all our getting, get understanding. See, I'm smiling even more because this, listen, I'm not telling you all that it's easy and it's smooth sailing when you're suffering for righteousness sake, for a very seriously, very serious godly purpose to bring him glory. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Wait till I show you what he showed me. Ooh, we. Now, you guys know I'm reading through the Bible. I'm on Genesis chapter 40. Am I on 40? Yes, I'm, I read 40 and I'm going on to 41. But let me show you how if I would have not listened to the Holy Spirit to just start at the beginning, the book of Genesis, and just start reading through the Bible. It doesn't matter if I only have a week or a month more. We don't know that. The Lord know, because I was thinking, well, wow, Lord, I know that I've read most of the Bible, but there are some some books in the, uh, I don't like saying old chapter, I mean, in the Old Testament. There's some books in the beginning of your word I've never really read through, and Genesis is one of them. <laughs> but praise the Lord, you all, because literally, Almost every time where I start, it is relating and relative to what I have been going through. And today, it, it blew the lid off the top. It, woo, Jesus. So watch this. I don't know who taught us everything is sunshine and roses and hopscotch. It's not. I said it's not. You best believe the, the chosen, you know how it says many are called, but few are chosen. Watch this, watch this. This is the, I'm talking to the beloved saints who is show enough going through some sufferings. I'm not talking about some, you and I must never part. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You, mm -mm. you all. <laughs> You guys know that's my movie, boy. My tea, ta, ta. Listen, you all, this ain't no patty cake thing when you're going through serious suffering. And I'm hoping to sing my song for you all. I'm hoping to sing it, the words over there, because I've been practicing it. So you all listen to me. I want you all to think about I want to talk about Jesus. I want you guys to think about Jesus and what he went through for us. I want you to use your, see, it's funny. I know, Lord, folks use their, their imagination in such vain ways instead of doing what Philippians 4, 8 tells us to do. Think on these things. Watch this. Now, this is graphic, but it is what it is, as my juju teaches me. Mom, it is what it is. Lord, he right. Listen, I'm just, see.
See, when you get excited about Jesus, I want to talk about Jesus. He is everything. People saying, oh, this dress is everything. This hairstyle is everything. Girl, these nails, man, this car is everything. This chick here, this woman, right? Let me tell you something. Jesus is everything. Do you all hear me? Watch this. I want you to use your imagination. Put yourself in the time that Jesus was on his way to be crucified for your sins and mine and the whole world. Now watch this. I want you to first think about how they were spitting on him, the soldiers. They was punching him and pulling out his hair in his beard out of his chin. I want you to think about how they took his clothes, stripped them down. That's just the start of it, right? Then I want you to think about how the soldiers prepared certain um, tools of punishment, like the cat of nine tails. That one right there, the thorn is bad enough. I mean, six inches, six, six, six. Ain't that something? Six inch nails. Oh, six, six, six. Six, oh, six inches was the, uh, was the th size of the thorns that went in his head, right? Y'all guys, excuse my hair. Six inches was the size of the thorns that went in his head, right? On his head, the crown of thorns. Six inch nails in the in his hand. I think it went in here. Mm -hmm. Then in his feet, six inch nails. I do believe that's six six six. Now watch it. Watch this. You all. The Lord is just so awesome. To even allow me to come to this understanding, so that I would not be. I mean, utterly crushed, utterly crushed, utterly crushed. And if somebody been rocking with me from the start, and, and can I tell you, it was before the hotel job that I took. It's, you all, this has been going on. If I'm going to be honest, all my life, all my working life, but it's been the worst, I would say. Man, you guys, it's been so long. Like Brother Keith said, it's been so long. I, It's been so many years. I, I There ain't no need in counting because I done got understanding. It, it don't really matter. What matters is that I get understanding. Because what is it to ever be learning? See, the Bible talk about those who are ever learning, but never coming to the truth of the salvation of Jesus Christ. They ever learning, fat off the word, but can't apply, love thy neighbor as thy love thyself. Can't apply that. They know they know them scriptures, but they don't love nobody. Not even God. Ain't that something? Not even the Lord. Mm -mm. They think they do because they go to church every Sunday. I done told you all, many Christians are already disqualified because the Lord Yahweh said, how can you say you love me? You've never seen me, yet you do not see, you do not love your neighbors who you see every day. Your own fellow brethren, and that's not masculine, you guys, it means, it means the body of Christ. Those who have true faith in the Lord, they don't love us. Oh, no, I know they don't love me. And there's nothing I can do about that, but make sure that I don't allow that to cause me to have resentment and then turn into bitterness. I can't afford that. Not in this last hour. And I do mean it's the last hour. Tick, 
talk, tick tock. It, listen, we finna go home, you all. We finna go home. So I want you all to think about Jesus. Think about the one you said that you believed on. First, before you believed on him, you believed that you was a sinner and lost and on your way to hell. And Jesus, the holy son of Yahweh, came and died on that cross for your sins. Amen? Okay, walk with me as I follow him. As soon as I don't follow him, you say, like the little children on the little rascals. Okay, that looks so funny when my head looked like a steering wheel. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Oh, that's okay. Y'all know I'm not vain. Amen. Amen. So anyway, I want to talk about Jesus. So you all, the Lord is so good and he is so greatly to be praised. You know why? Because he's worthy. He is worthy all by himself because he's holy. Don't matter. He is the Lord. When, when Moses said, well, now who should I tell him sent me, Lord? He said, tell him I am that I am. Mm -mm -mm. Now watch this. Now I want you all to imagine the human body of God, of Yahweh Adonai. Yeah. Walk with me, saints. You're never going to view your suffering the same. You're, I'm, talk, I'm talking to the real saints. I'm not talking to those who are comfortable with lying and gossiping. You're a Christian who is comfortable with having sex in the very presence of God and we not married. I'm not talking about to you uh, carnal, lukewarm Christians, once saved, always saved. No, 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 no. I'm talking to the ones that Jesus said, in order to reign with me, you must suffer. You all know Jesus said that. So I want you guys to begin to say this. My suffering is not in vain. It's in order for me to reign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, because those who suffer with him for his name's sake, gonna reign with him. See, you got to qualify in this hour. Oh yeah, you you gonna have to be a ride or die. Oh, you gonna have to be it. You have to be the real deal. That's why the lukewarm and the carnal and the itch and ear community and the Lord, Lord, uh, no, 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 no. They, they not even suffering to keep their vessel under, their flesh under. Okay, you all, think about Jesus. The crown of thorns is enough. It, it, mm. And if you think about that, the Lord is even showing me, that's our mind. That's our mind. The enemy, the greatest battlefield is of the mind. There is no, I know it. These last three weeks, listen, and you say, well, why just these last three weeks if you've been going through this for a whole year? Because at the end is the greatest pressure. <laughs> Come on, Holy Spirit. <laughs> I said it's the greatest pressure at the end. See, if you ever ran a race, or done any af anything athletically, it's at the end. It's the middle and at the end. The end, you think you're going to die. You don't think you can take another run, not another step towards running. Oh, I'm going to wait in the water. Let me tell you all something. And I've been saying this a lot lately. Life, this life is not for the weak. Nope, nope. Because the weak will get chewed up and spit out. Straight taken out, actually. Casualties of war happening by seconds every day. These are the ones who are the apostasy. They have tapped out. They have said, can't, can't stick with this Jesus no more. 
too much hard times, uh, I, I, things I want to do. I don't want to wait to be married. I ain't got no time to be doing things the right way because this world ain't playing with a fair uh, hand. And uh, I got to do what I got to do. I'm not talking to you all. No, no. No, I'm going to get my song. I'm going to get my song. Watch this. The thorn, the crown of thorns is something else. Because that, it, believe it or not, that is for our sound. Come on, Holy Spirit. It's for us to be able to have a sound mind in Christ. Because when your mind is under attack with, I mean, ooh, we the thoughts that Satan can download to our mind and make us think it's our thoughts and they be against God, they be against us, it, they be against each other. You all, this is not no, this is not no patty cake. This is a game of che uh, uh, chess, not checkers. Chess, not checkers. Somebody got a, a video, uh, YouTube called Chestnut Checkers. Very good. Very good name. That's what we're talking about. And if you don't study your enemy, you're not going to never know when he's coming at you, especially our mind. It's ooh, when I tell y'all, when I get ready to tell it all to y'all, not all, but whatever he tells me to divulge, I will. So watch this. And if ever we needed wisdom, I know I do straight from the Lord's heart. We need wisdom in this last hour. There's a song I like to sing. It's just one part of his song because I believe it's, it's very practical and it's true to life. And his name is Kenny Rogers. You got to know when to hold him. Know when to fold him. Know when to walk away. No when to run. Yes. Now that's from The Gambler, the movie. But the words to that song is actually in the Bible. You want to know how I know? It say, be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. Ain't that something? Oh, I'm, I'm so full. Y'all can see I'm just, wow. So... I want you to think about that that thorn, that crown of thorns, six inches. Being stuck inside the cranium of our master and our Lord and our savior for you and for me. And then I want you to think about the nails that went into his hand, six inches and in his feet. But now, 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 what really gets to me, this is me. This is me. If you look at the movie, The Passion of Christ, and the whip, I think it had a metal handle, and springing out of it was these leather strips. And on the end of the strips was these I don't know how they made it. It's crazy. It's crazy. But that's how, to me, it is so similar to the tormenting spirits. It is to me. I cannot speak for nobody else, you all. This is my experience. It's called The Cat of Nine Tails. You ought to look up a picture of it or just look at the movie. And at the end of it is these metal pieces and rock and glass, if I'm not mistaken. I know it's metal and it has pieces of glass and it ripped, it tore the back of our Lord to shreds, to the ligaments, busted his flesh wide open. And you got people tapping out because they struggling. You got people tapping out because they don't want to stop using drugs. You got people tapping out because folks is dogging them and rejecting them and talking about them. You got Christians tapping out because of lust. 
you got folks tapping out because they feel all alone. Let me tell you all something. If you, I was going to get real close. If you can tap out on Jesus. After all he done went through for us. And we is guilty. Sinful. Some of us was diabolical sinful. Ain't this something? And now in the final round, the final round, <laughs> final round, <laughs> oh, uh-uh, I'm not going to be able to do it by the power that's been invested in me. And I know who that power is. Jesus, mm -mm, mm -mm. I got to finish strong for him. He's worthy and he's worth it all. Let me tell you guys something. Ain't nothing much the devil can do with you when you make up your heart, mind, and soul and your body to live righteous. It, he can do what he want to do. And now he can't even do but what God allow him to. Th that rhymed. Do you all hear me? See, if you say, okay, if the Lord permissive will or sovereign will is allowing this, whatever the case may be, he is the Lord. Then, Lord, I'm I'm supposed to learn something from this or someone or something is going to get exposed or this is going to bring much glory to you. Walk with me. Wait till you see what the Lord gave me in Joseph. Ooh. You all, oh, he's a yeah, wow. Hallelujah. He is so good. He is so good. I could just feel his presence. He is so good. He is so, he's so worthy. I don't care what we have to go through. You all, we not going through it in vain. No, no, it is so that we can reign. And not only that, greater, greater is for his glory. I'm telling you all, listen to me. Listen to your big sis, Marsha, who going through it, who's suffering for his, for his name's sake. And for my righteousness, okay. Because see, some or some suffering will get more righteousness. Will learn you will learn the way of righteousness. Ooh, we. How about patience? How about to trust Him always, always and forever. <laughs> Each moment with you, I'm telling you. I'm telling you to, oh, I just, I feel overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. I forgive all my enemies. I let them go. I let them go free. Hallelujah. And you guys know I still have pain in my lower back. You wouldn't believe it. All from that woman talking about, you mean getting down on their level? She's 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 going to answer for that. Oh yes, yeah, she is. And 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 neck was ooh. And you think the enemy don't want to use all of this to get me to feel some type of way? Y'all don't be don't be silly, don't be foolish. I know y'all don't suffer some things you didn't deserve, you didn't ask for. You think I went and got a job to have back problems? And even my neck. Let me tell you something. Oh, my Lord. You all. I'm just going to read it. You're going to get it. Those of you who have ears to hear in the spirit and eyes to see in the spirit, you're going to catch it just like that. You're going to get up from a place of heaviness, sadness, depression, defeat, and say, oh, no, Satan. You're not going to say another word about my Lord, about my lover. Oh, no. <laughs> Watch this. Let me pray. Lord Jesus, you're so awesome. So, Heavenly Father, we come this evening, 5, 16 p.m. on a Wednesday evening. And we thanking you, Lord. 
we are gaining more and more simplicity of the understanding and the deepness of your word that we may obey you more, obey you more perfectly, more quickly and with a joyous spirit, even though our spirits may be hurting our souls. So what? So what? Lord, we want to please you. We want to show our enemy who is Hasatan instead of us being each other's enemy, which is so sad. See, a lot of us is in trouble. We got the same common enemy who hates us all, the devil. Mm -hmm. And his demonic enemy, ent en demonic entities. Hold on, you all. My Lord. My Lord. My Lord. Ooh, we, you all, when you hear this, you want, let me get my song. My Lord. Okay, now watch this. Now, some of you should know the background of Joseph's story about how his brothers, they detested him. They hated him because they wanted to kill him. So that's hatred. When you hate somebody, you really wishing that you could kill them or that they would die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. If God be for you, who can be against you? If you show enough chosen of the Lord and have a serious uh, calling and, and purpose from the Lord, baby, baby, ain't nothing they going to be able to do. No. So watch this. Now, most of you have a good background about Joseph how they called him when they would see him come and his brothers would say, here come that dreamer. They, 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 they hated the things that the Lord was showing Joseph and guess who it was for? Them. You guys walk with me. It really wasn't about Joseph. Now, Joseph was very blessed and highly favored of the Lord. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> yeah, don't get it twisted. But Joseph suffered for them, and they was trying to kill him. Now watch this. You Do you think that Joseph reminds you of anybody, how his brothers hated him? His own? Jesus came to his own first, the Hebrew people, the Jewish people. As Brother Anthony said, Hebrew is a language. I thought it was a, a nationality of the Jewish people, but Brother Anthony said that's a language, which is true. I know it now. I heard that, but I just thought that there were a nationality of people as well. But anyway, it doesn't matter. The Jewish people, he came to his own people first. They didn't receive Jesus. No. Isn't that Joseph? You see this? Now watch this. Here, his dreams was about him being elevated, absolutely, but for a purpose. See, I'm down, getting downloaded revelation. Ain't it said how the Lord have called many leaders and they perverted the purpose of their authority. And that, ooh, I, that's going to have to be for another time. So watch this. Uh, uh, uh. Now. Joseph was to be exhorted, exalted over his brothers and his father and his mother. But why? Especially his father and his mother. But why? To save their very lives. Let me tell you something. Oh, we, God is real. My back is hurting right now, but that's okay. I will not be moved. Uh, you all, your suffering going to save your loved one's lives. Yep, they may not make it out on this trumpet blow, but who's to say they'll have the wherewithal, the boldness, the courage, and the stamina in their own spirit to say, well, now my sister tried to tell me, my mama tried to tell me this was coming, my grandmama, whomever the case may be, but we pray they be snatched and made in by the skin of their tail at the nick of time. 
You hear me? This is what we want. And he can do it. The Lord can do whatever you want to do. Now watch this. Now. We know that Joseph's brothers wanted to kill him. But his one brother, trying to remember his name. Reuben. I'm not sure. But anyway, he said, no, we're not going to kill him. Let's throw him in this pit over here so that his blood is not on our hands. Lord have mercy, help me. Now, he was sold to some Ishmaelites into slavery. The Ishmaelites then sold him to the Pharaoh, one of Pharaoh's uh, soldiers and guard workers, which is Potiphar. Now, fast forward. I'm, let me just read it. You guys going to be so blessed. You got to hear the key things, what happened while he was suffering. And then understand the purpose why the Lord allows suffering. Ooh wee. Mm, mm, mm. Watch this. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt. And Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard in Egypt, brought him of the hands of the Ishmaelites, which had brought him down thither. And the Lord was with Joseph. And people say, oh, I'm blessed and highly favored on top. That's fine. But I'm learning the chosen, they suffered. I said, I'm learning the chosen, the chosen one. The few that are chosen, many called, but few chosen. They suffered big time. Watch this. And the Lord was with Joseph. And the Lord was with Joseph. And he was a prosperous man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him. And that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand and Joseph found grace in his sight and he served him and he made him overseer overseer over his house and all that he had put into his hand and it came to pass from the time that he had made him overseer in his house and over all that he had that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. How many people didn't recognize you were their Joseph? Ooh, we. Ooh, ooh, we. Oh, my. That's a whole nother message. Watch this. There's so many, there's so many nuggets in here. It's unbelievable. But see, that's the Lord for you. His word, it never stops peeling back. It's eternal. And that's why when the angels go around the throne of the almighty, holy Yahweh, they see a whole nother facet of his holiness, whole nother level dimension. Watch this. And it came to pass from the time that he made him overseer in his house and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptians house for Joseph's sake and and the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in his house and in the field. Watch this. Lord have mercy. Definitely this is this is Yeshua. Joseph is a type and shadow of Jesus Christ. No doubt about it. Now watch this. Okay, where you want me to get? Okay, now so we, we see in what how his brothers sold him into slavery, right? He ended up at the, uh, 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 you could say the palace or the courts of the Egyptians, amen, Pharaoh, as ruler and king over his people 
and he was given to under the, you could say, the authority of Potiphar. Okay, watch this. Watch this. <laughs> wow. Okay. Because I want to show you something, how one, one moment you can be truly blessed. And then the next moment or the next day, you've been going through a serious trial, temptation. It's all in here. It's, I love when people don't think, I, I love when people think I don't know what I'm talking about. When baby, I'm living this, I'm walking this out. And to the Lord be all the glory, honor, and praise. But see, they done missed a Joseph in me. They really done missed the Christ in me. How about if I put it like that? Ooh -wee. Watch this. Oh my. Yep, you was right. I was right by it. Okay. And he left all that he had in Joseph's hand. And he knew not what he had. Save the bread, which he did eat. And I had to read that in the... Uh, Hebrew because it made it more plain because of the way they worded it here was so confusing. It is. But it it's saying the man put him over charge over everything in his house except for the food he ate and his wife. Watch this. And Joseph was a godly wait let me get it right. This is another key thing. And Joseph was a goodly person and well favored. I like to say godly because that is goodly. To be, good, to be a good person, and I don't mean like I'm good, I'm, I'm a good person. For God to work in you, his goodness, in and through you, goodly person. I like saying godly person. Amen. I want to talk about Jesus. I'll be, I be using that girl. Yes, I love her. I love her. Okay, I really like her too. Okay, now watch this. Seven. And it came to pass after these, after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph. Walk, walk with me. And she said, lie with me. But he refused and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master has given me all things within his house, and he has committed all that he has to my hand. There is none greater in this house than I. Do you see that? See, a lot of leadership have messed up their trust between them and God because they have abused his children. You all, this thing is so multi-layered. I got it. I just got to, I got to just uh, coast myself. Did you hear what Joseph said? This type of trust and integrity rarely exists today in leadership. It, it, I said it rarely exists. Watch this. Neither has he kept back anything from me but thee. He talking to his stupid, ignorant, seductive, seducing, lustful wife of his master. You hear this? It's too, it's too bad more men aren't like Joseph. They so easily seduced by demons and women. And the Bible says their bed leads down to the gates of hell. Stupid, lustful men. Ain't it sad? It's sad. Got good wives at home. Fine wives. More than enough his hands can hold. But yet and still. See, when lust is in you, lust going to come to you. It, go ahead. When lust is in you, lust going to come to you. Ain't that sad? It, ooh, didn't I tell you the Lord's word is it's unsearchable? Watch this. How then can I do this great wick wickedness? He said, back it up and take your time. 
There's none greater in this house than I. Neither has he kept back anything from me but you, because thou art his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? And sin against God? And it came to pass as she spoke to Joseph day by day. That means she was trying to wear him down. Ain't that sad how women don't know how to use their power to build up a man or to protect a man? That's another, that's another teaching for another time. Watch this. Even wives with their prideful self. Ain't that something? How you can stop appreciating your husband. See, it go both ways. If you don't stroke your man's ego, another woman will. You remember I said that. Watch this. Why? Because the devil going to get in one way or another. Ain't this something? Wives, you need to read what Peter said. A quiet and sweet spirit. And that don't mean you can't be bold. But you need to know when to have that boldness and when to turn it completely off. Especially if you got a man worth his backbone and his, and his kahunas and a man of the spirit of the almighty God. You ain't never got to act like you something you not. Because we are not male. We are female. Oh, we. I feel my help. Watch this. Come on. Ooh, I'm packing. Ain't I packing, brothers and sisters in Christ? <laughs> Hallelujah. To God be all the glory. Watch this. She was trying to wear him out, seducing him every day, laying thick on that perfume, breast popping out like a doggone, I don't like to say Jezebel, a seductive demon. Because Jezebel is, uh, she dead. Watch this. <laughs> and we women know how we can be when we full of seducting, seducing and seductive, enticing spirits. Don't lie. Stop playing them games. And you still dressing like that going to church. And you really believe Jesus is coming for such a woman? Help us, Lord. I know I used to do it. I can talk about it. It's disgraceful. It, it hinders a man from even concentrating on the Lord. And it bothers sisters too. Help us, Jesus. It's very sad. It's very sad. And it's dangerous. Now watch here. Oh, my goodness. So day by day, she was trying to wear Joseph down. That he hearkened not unto her. It says, day by day. And it came to pass as she spake to Joseph day by day, that he hearkened not unto her. Men, you need to run from lust. You need to run like a, like, what's that man, that fastest man in the world? Anyway, you need to straight run with all your might. You need to be like your brother Joseph. He hawking not unto her to lie by her or to be with her. Mm, 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 mm. That's so heavy. You ain't got many men like that today. And she caught him by his garment, saying, Lie with me. She meant that thing. Boy, that demon wanted to mess up that man of God's anointing. Ain't that something? And mess up his purpose. Ooh -wee. And he left his garment in her hand. Now, you know, she had some grips on him to have taken his clothes off of him. And she left it. I mean, he left it with her. Some things you just got to let them go. 
Let your enemies have it. You can have that. Ooh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, my Jesus. Okay, watch this. Left his garment in her hand and fled. He got and got him out. Look at that. And I mean, that man was running from that spirit of lust, seducing seductive demons, because that's all lust is. You sisters ought to stop having sex with these men who won't show you any honor. And let's see if he straighten up and fly right then. Because guess what, baby? As long as he can have the milk, he not going to buy the cow. And I'm going to tell you another thing. A man that would lay up on you and in between you, let me tell you something. That's lust. That ain't no love. You are to love and honor and respect yourself better than that. Watch this. <clears throat> Whoo, this thing is multi, 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 multi layered. <laughs> and it came to pass when she saw that he had left his garment in her hand and was fled forth that she, that she called out Unto the men of her house, look at this devil. You know they say a, a lie will fly, but the truth takes its time. Something like that. A lie will fly, but the truth takes its time. It's something like that. It's powerful. You know what it means. When somebody want to be the first one to tell something, nine times out of ten they lie. But let the truth take its time because it will come to pass. The truth will come out. Watch this. Ain't this something, y'all? Woo! That she called unto the men of the house, of her house, and spake unto them, saying, See, he hath brought in, brought in a Hebrew unto us to mock us. He came in unto me to lie with me and he cried with, I mean, and I cried with a loud voice. Oh, she was a lying heifer, a lying lustful heifer. <laughs> oh, look at this. She, see, you hear that? That she called unto the men of the house and spake unto them saying, see, he has brought in a Hebrew unto us to mock us. He came in unto me to lie with me, and I cried with a loud voice. Oh, wow. Liar, liar, liar. Mm. I almost said something. <laughs> oh, Lord. Now, no cuss word. Okay, watch this, y'all. 15. And it came to pass when he heard that. I lifted up my voice and cried that he left his garment with me. Now, do you, if anybody with critical thinking, and most folks ain't even got common sense, let alone critical thinking. If a man tried to R-A-P-E-D-U, he is not going to leave his garment with you. No, no, indeed. No, indeed. Or if he tried to take advantage of you, which is the same thing. Okay. And fled and got him out. It reads so weird here like Shakespeare, which is fine. But when you hear it in the Hebrew, I'm going to have to read it to you all. It just reads so much smoother. Okay. And she laid up his garment by her. Look at this. Until his Lord came home. So she kept it with her sulking and crying. Oh, do you believe him? How dare him? Just putting on a show, you all. Putting on a show to make this man look like something he wasn't. But everything was going great, wasn't it, y'all? Even though now he was slave, slave, he was sold into slavery, but he was making the best of it. Watch, did, did you catch that? I said, I said, did you catch that? Let's not forget he's away from the, the love of his father. 
Is this Jesus and the Father? Wow, Holy Spirit, I love you. He was away from his father. His brothers hated him, really wanted to kill him, but they threw him in the pit. His own didn't receive him. Is this painting a picture of Yeshua? Then they sold him into slavery to uh, the Pharaoh. Then now his 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 guard, his officer's wife tried to seduce him and, and called foul play. Is, is, is Joseph suffering unjustly? Oh, yes, he is. So watch this. Oh, Lord, this is something. And she spake unto him according to these words, saying, the Hebrew servant, which thou hast brought into us, came into me to mock me. And it came to pass as I lifted up, um, oh, it's still her. And it came to pass as I lifted up my voice and cried that he left his garment, his, he left his garment with me and fled out. <laughs> oh my goodness, she's a lion heifer. Yes, she is. Oh, wow. Look at that. And it came to pass when his master heard the words of his wife, which she spake unto him, saying, After this manner did the servant did thy servant to me, that his wrath was kindled. I know. So it came. To, let me slow down. I'm thinking she's talking, but it's the husband. After this manner did thy servant to me, that is her, and his wrath was kindled. Okay, so let me say that again. After this manner did thy servant did thy servant to me. So she's saying, this is what your servant, your Hebrew servant. And see, this is why I want to say Hebrew, because she's calling him a Hebrew, not a Jew. I don't know. I'm going to have to find out because I did learn. That's okay. It doesn't matter. Praise God. The moral of the story is Joseph is suffering. And who suffered for us? Who, 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 who was our sins? Gross sins, some of us, was laid upon? Jesus suffered in order that we would be saved. Ain't this something? And, and we not going to suffer, huh? Oh, you ain't going to reign. You sure ain't going to reign. Watch this. Wow saying, after this manner did thy servant to me, that his wrath was kindled. Look at this. And Joseph's master took him and put him into the prison. He went from living in a palace to prison. Okay. Okay a place where the king's prisoners were bound and he was there in the prison. Watch this, watch this. See if y'all gonna catch it. See, I'm already giving you a clue because I'm saying, watch this, watch this. But the Lord was with Joseph. <laughs> I love it. I know my Lord was speaking to me. Holy Ghost was saying, child, I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> I tell you what, it don't even matter. Anyway, watch this. My goodness. Who? And showed him, look at this, but the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. Notice how everywhere he went, he found favor with those in authority. And I'm going to tell you something. The word authority is directly linked to power. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And as true beloved saints, we have authority in the spirit. We have power because of Jesus. Because of his holiness, his righteousness, his holy blood, his holy name. And his holy word. So when you know you live in a righteous life, clean hands and a pure heart, 
Let me tell you something. We better get to asking for some things according to his will. My Bible tell me the prayers of the righteous, not the sinners, you ignorant Christians. My Bible tells me the prayers of the righteous availeth much. And that means have power with God. Yeah. Let's keep going. Watch this. <laughs> you're never going to look at your sufferings and your trials and tribulations the same. You're, no, you're not. You're, you're not. If he did it for me, he's going to do it for you. Watch this. Okay, favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners that were in the prison. And whatsoever they did there, he was the doer of it. That means he was in charge. He had the authority in the prison. Oh my. So you know what he had to have? An amazing attitude, even though he was locked up in prison. What you doing while you suffering? For righteousness sake, what you doing? You still treating folks right in your house? You still uh, being full of the joy of the Lord? You still praying? You still fasting and staying in your word and going about doing good? Mm -mm -mm. Wait till y'all hear my song. Okay. Wow. Wow. This is so good. This is so good. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph. Okay, yeah, I read that. He was the doer of it. Yes. Verse 23. The keeper of the prison looked not to anything that was under his hand. That means he didn't even have to, 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 he didn't have to micromanage. Ooh, people who like that got serious issues. Especially when you got somebody trustworthy and full of integrity. He didn't even have to, just like the uh, Potter, Potiphar. He didn't have to check on uh, Joseph. Joseph was a man with high, excellent integrity and professionalism too. I love it. I love it. I love it. Watch this. Because the Lord was with him. And that's the third time. And that which he did, the Lord made it to prosper. This is so loaded. This is so loaded. Do I have time to go into the, 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 the butler and the baker? You know what? I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to make part two. <laughs> this is so good, you all. So I wrote some things in here. When I'm suffering for the righteous, for righteousness sake, my Lord will be with me. Yeah, yeah. I, lit, I was lighting it up right in here. See, Marsha, it was not about you just like it wasn't about joseph it's about god's purpose in our lives oh my and using him for god's glory though so that was the holy spirit saying see marcia it is not about you but it's about god's purpose like joseph and using him for my glory. The Lord reminded me of a word of knowledge that he had given to me concerning. Wow, okay, where did I finish that? The Lord reminded me of a word of knowledge. Concerning, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. Holy Spirit, bring that back to me because you surely gave me something. Okay. So, all right. Holy Spirit, help me sing this like you gave it to me and like I gave it to the Lord. Okay. 
No matter what I go through, I'm gonna keep on trusting you. No matter how hard things get, I'm gonna keep on running to you. I'm gonna, wait, let me start over you guys cause I'm, I'm getting it. No matter what I go through, I'm gonna keep on trusting you. No matter how hard things get, I'm gonna keep on running to you. I'm gonna stay faithful and true. Cause I, no, 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 let me do it again. Let me do it again, you guys. Cause it's kind of faster than I'm normal used to singing. Okay. No matter what I go through, I'm gonna keep on trusting you. No matter how hard things get, I'm gonna keep on running to you. I'm gonna stay faithful and true to you. I'm gonna stay faithful and true to you, my Lord. No matter the, nope, let me do it again. That's okay. No matter what I go through, I'm going to keep on trusting you. No matter how hard things get, I'm going to keep on running to you. I'm going to stay faithful and true to you, my Lord, no matter the storms, because I know I can depend on you. You've never let me down, my Lord. There is no failure in you. That's why I keep on loving you. So I will hear you say, well done, my good and faithful servant. <laughs> you guys, the Lord gave me this like three or four days ago. I'm not done. It's going to be at um, the second verse. Let me sing it again. No matter what I go through, I'm going to keep on trusting you. No matter how hard things get, I'm going to keep on running to you. I'm going to stay faithful and true to you, my Lord, no matter the storms, because I know I can depend on you. You've never let me down, my Lord. There is no failure in you. That's why I'll keep on loving you. So I will hear you say, well done, my good and faithful servant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it, you guys. That is a song that was birthed out of going through and struggling, suffering. Hallelujah. For the righteousness of Jesus to be a blessing to others. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. It's easy to smile and praise and clap your hands to the Lord and everything is well. Got money in the bank, no, no bills behind. Everything is fine. But let me tell you something. You don't prove you trust God when things are going well. No, you all. It's when things are not so well at all. It's when your body is in pain. Your children are not all saved. People are talking about you, want you to be defeated defeated, destroyed. Some of them wish that you would die. It's true. It's true. But guess what? That's the Lord's business. You all hear me? You all hear me? I got a river of life flowing out of me. Helps the lame to walk and the blind to see. Open prison doors, set the captives free. Oh, I got a river of life Flowing out of me, spring up a well down in my soul. Spring up a well and make me whole life abundantly. I got a river. I want to dedicate this song to Pastor Dave Young. Hallelujah. This man, used to, I'm, I'm probably sure he still sings it. <laughs> I love it. 
this song. I got a river of life flowing out of me. Helps the lame to walk and the blind to see. Open prison doors, set the captives free. Oh, I got a river of life flowing out of me. Spring up a well down in my soul. Spring up a well and make me whole life abundantly. Amen. Saints, hold on. Hold to the Lord's unchanging hand. I'm telling you, the, the Bible say, Jesus said, everyone that the Father has placed in my hand. You see this? Imagine this you in the hand of the Almighty Lord and Savior and soon coming Holy King. Stay in the hand of the Lord. Prove that you love him. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. He said, if you love me, obey me. Love spelled to the Lord is O-B-E-Y. Amen, you all, just like our children can say, Mom, I love you, Mom, I love you. And don't never listen to what you tell them to do. Just as hard-headed and, 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 and rebellious as can be. But Mama, I love you. You guys know there ain't nothing worse. That's just like a husband that say, Baby, I love you. It don't never buy you flowers. Ain't seen a new dress or outfit in goodness knows how long. And he got money. I'm talking about the men that got some money. And even if they don't have no money, the little things that a simple woman can be appreciative of. Do you all hear me? No. Love is not a word. It's an action. Do you hear me? Just like beloved saints are supposed to be loving each other. And I want to thank Sister Juliet. I want to thank Sister Gina. I want to thank Sister Erica. I want to thank Sister Nellie. I want to thank Brother Keith. I want to thank Brother Anthony. I want to thank M. Clark. I want to thank Angel. And there's another brother. Please forgive me. I will mention your name when I come back on. And I know that you guys aren't doing it for me to say your name. None of you ever asked me that. And one or two people said, I don't want you to say my name. And that's okay. I respect that and honor that. But as long as I'm saying it to show what the real entire body of Christ looks like, when one part of it is hurting, the entire body goes to the aid of that pinky finger. You all have done that for me in my time of crisis. You all have done that for me. And I thank you. I thank you, true beloved saints, my true brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. I do believe the Lord said, love not in words only, but in deeds. I do believe the Bible says, look out not for your own interests, but the interests of others. And my interest was my bills, and I'm almost there with my rent. $250 to go. Hallelujah. It's getting there. Amen. So I want to thank you all. My son and I both, Sister Juliet, bless my son with a $200 gift card. That boy was able to go and get four pair of pants, a pair of shoes, and two tops. Sister Juliet, and remember when I said, I'm going to pray that there is a good sale. Oh, boy, was there a great sale. All of that for $200? Come on now. I said, come on, Jesus. Sister Juliet, thank you. Thank you so much. A couple of you saints who sent me something, I was able to get my hair, my hair, my son's hair cut. You guys, that's not cheap. That's $25, $30 a pop. You, you all, some of you already know. Thank you, saints, for seeing about my soul. I, I don't want to cry. I, I cry enough. I really do. I really do. But you all know that I'm grateful, appreciative, and I pray that the Lord do for you what you want the most. Rather it be a better position on your job, rather it be healing in your body, rather it be your children saved, your spouses saved, your marriage restored. I don't care. And you know what? I don't want to forget this. Sister Gina had her surgery and she is in, you all her back surgery. That's no joke. That's no joke. I'm asking you all without giving any details. 
please keep our sister lifted up. Pray that the Lord will give her favor, that they will be able to send someone to aid her in her uh, healing and, 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 and restoration period from this very serious operation, serious surgery on the back. I mean, it, it, the knees, the back, and the heart, and the brain, them is the most powerful surgeries one can have done. So you all, please. I was breaking down today crying over my sister. Pray for her, please, that the Lord will send her a loving soul. Handpick the person that would be her um, in-home care worker or personal aid, like an in-home nurse that comes to the home or personal aid, okay? If I had money and I could take a month or two off and fly or take whatever drive, probably fly because she live a ways away from me, best believe I would go and take care of my sister. Best believe I would. But since I'm not able to, or Sister Julia or Erica either, because they would too, you all, the Lord is more than able more than able. Please pray for my sister, okay? Sister Gina, our sister. And I was going to say something else. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I remember when I had to quit the job at the hotel. Sister Megan and Sister Wendy, well, I should say Brother Eric, Sister Megan, Brother Jesse, and Brother Wendy, when I tell you they were a wonderful blessing to me, I was in pain then. That's what caused my foot to be greatly injured. Great. I would have rather had a baby than to go through this type of pain. So anyway, <clears throat> um, brother Jesse and Wendy ordered some things for me for their mothers. It was around Mother's Day. And they, I made them personal baskets and shipped them to both of their mothers. I laid them out. They couldn't believe how I... I knew their mother's personality, both of them. They described me a little bit of their mothers, both of their mothers. And when I tell you, my goodness, it was, it, I, I cried because they were so happy with the things I picked out for them. Beautiful baskets. I'm talking a plush. And then Sister Megan and Eric, <clears throat> Sister Megan had a close friend, girlfriend, who was having a baby and she allowed me to make a personalized baby basket, laid it out, laid it out, baby. She was so very pleased because I sent them pictures as I picked things out for them to say, yes, that's it. Yes, I love it. So it was so wonderful. So they invested in my gifts and talents and it kept me afloat. And then Sister Megan, dear Lord, I don't even want to tell you guys what she did. She literally, I, I don't want to give the number, but she did, I had to tell her how I was so hurt to work as well as I did with such excellency and to be done like that. And it's happened a lot, you guys. It's happened a lot, but that's okay. Um, so I had said during the time before she called me, I was saying, wow, Lord, I know of people who have been greatly blessed with a good amount of money. And I and I didn't even say this verbally to the Lord. Nope, you all, I did not. Do you know the Lord can hear your silent, secret prayers in your heart? Yes, he does. I know he does because he's done it several times for me. And I said, wow, Lord, I've given and I've given a substantial amount for to be a single mother. And I said, wow, Father, I hear of people having testimonies that somebody gave them $5,000 or you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying she gave me $5,000, you all, but I believe she would have if she uh, could have. But what she did give me was a hefty amount of money. And I thank God for my sister, Megan. It, I fell to my knees. She called me like two or I don't know how many days it was in between when that was in my heart and I asked it of the Lord. But all I know is this sister called me one early, one early, one morning and said, Sister Marsha, is everything okay? I will never forget it. I will never. And here I am. 
I will stay faithful and true. I'll study full of joy, acting like nothing was wrong when everything was wrong. And I said, yeah, I'm okay, sister. And she said, no, is, are you sure is something wrong? Do, do you have bills behind? And I said, oh my gosh. I said, well, sister Megan, yes, I do. And she said, you know, I was praying for you. I was praying about you and I have this amount of money. And she said, wow, I'm not really in a church. So I don't know what church I would give the tithe to give this money to. And she said, the Lord said to her, Marsha is the church. Y'all don't y'all. I said, Jesus. She said, the Lord says she is the church. Send that money to Marsha. Oh, Jesus. Yes, you guys. And then her daughter, I don't want to say her name. I just love her daughters. They are, she got five of them, six now. They are beautiful girls. I mean, oh, they're beautiful. And um, the one daughter, I think it was the oldest one. She said, mommy, yes, send that money to Miss Marsha. And she said, that's it. Okay. And that's when she called me and she said, hey, sister, are you okay? And I was like, oh, Lord. And I just said, yeah, I'm fine, sister. You know, wow. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. I shall never forget that. And I bring this up because when I said, you've never fed, I mean, you've never let me down. There is no failure in you. That's exactly what I'm thinking about all the times that the Lord came through for me. Not out here fornicating, getting no sugar daddy, getting no daddy, period. I got a daddy, Abba Father, and not compromising. Come on, Holy Spirit. Not compromising a little bit, a tinge, a little something, something. No, I stayed faithful and true to my Lord. And I thank the Lord for Sister Megan and Brother Eric. That that blew my mind, blew my mind. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you all, I want you guys to hear some things so you can say, my goodness. So you'll know the dilly. You'll know what's up, what's up. So I love you all. God bless and keep you. Please keep Sister Gina lifted up, you all. Pray for her speedy recovery. Pray that the angels, healing angels, go in and touch her body from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Pray for her because I don't even want to go into the details because I don't want to divulge that. But her surgery is very serious. We're talking screws in the back. That That's not an all. Oh, and some of you may have gone through a surgery like that. So you all pray the Lord sends her somebody picked from his very heart. If I could go, I would go with, without thinking. I would go without thinking. Yeah, I would do it. So anyway, you all, I love you again. Thank you for all those who cared about my soul and who have shared with me financial um, help. Thank you. I, I, Dear Lord, I don't even have words, but I thank you all very much. I love you, Sister Angel. What you have given, you don't know. I hope you don't feel, you know, any type of way. Because, girlfriend, when I needed to go look for a job, that money you gave me came, oh, jeez, <laughs> right on time. I love you, sis. You are beautiful. God bless you guys. And I'm going to be back with part two with this. I'm titling this video, Your Pain is Not in Vain. Your Pain is So You Can Rain. Mm -mm. Love you all. God bless you.